Six Sports presents the Dean Trailways fifth quarter 30th anniversary. show ahead this evening on the Dean Trailways fifth quarter week for the high school football season is here. It is drama filled. Yeah. And as always, we thank you for spending your Friday night with us. I'm Audrey Dahlgren. By the way, happy birthday, Nick. Thank you, Audrey. That's very nice of you. What a beautiful way to spend my birthday with an <laughs> incredible dog fight over at East Lansing High School as the Trojans welcomed CAAC Blue rival DeWitt into their dojo. All and right. it was loud in EL tonight. The student section was fired up for this one. Let's pick up the action at halftime. Both teams trading punches with a 30 to 28 DeWitt lead coming out of the break and a big loss for the Panthers. Running back Blake Howler out due to a rib injury. No timetable on his return. The Panthers could have used him on this play. Fourth and one from the one yard line and East Lansing's defense stops him at the one. A huge momentum shift. Then in the fourth quarter, the Trojans go into the ground and sophomore Jace Clarizio has some space. The speed and tough running through arm tackles for a 27 yard touchdown. The Trojans also got the two point conversion, so they take a six point lead. The game came down to a fourth and seven from East Lansing's 18 yard line. The Panthers go into the air. The path is tipped and intercepted by Chase Clarizio. Again, making huge plays on both sides of the ball in the fourth quarter as the Trojans win it 36 to 30. The final. This is the first time the DeWitt has had back to back regular season lo losses and since 2005. And the Trojans wanted this one badly. All along the winter, all into the spring, even the early summer, we just wanted to beat to wit, beat to wit, you know, and just we wanted to achieve more after the off season. Just then, you know, I believe this is a product of what we did. Me personally, I was waiting for this game. I'm not gonna lie. I was a freshman uh, on the sideline watching. I was like, man, I can't wait. I, we we was waiting for this moment all year, and but as a team, yeah, we we've all just been waiting for this moment, waiting, working hard just for this game, big game. Now we're making our way to Grand Ledge now. The Comets hosting Waverly. And the million dollar question here is would the Warriors be able to keep up their hot start to the season? However, Grand Ledge had other plans. Sean Foster keeping it himself. And check out this effort. He refuses to go oh. down before crossing the goal line for a Comet touchdown. Waverly responded instantly. Martavion Robinson fields the kickoff, makes a couple of guys miss, and he's going to turn on the Jets. Full blown. We'll speed it up for you a little bit. Warriors within eight. But it was all Comets from there. Foster finds. Teddy Williams over the middle, Ooh. and he would not be stopped. Takes it to the house, and then it's Foster to Williams once again. Another GL touchdown. Comets and the Warriors, their first loss of the season. 37 to 20, the final. Nick, what you got? Well, staying in the blue odd, the Hold Rams looking to defend their house on homecoming against the Okemos Wolves. And the Rams were rolling with the ground early and often. Bryce Cornelius is his name. He gets the outside run, does a little quick juke, and he is smooth in for the touchdown. Touchdown. There was plenty more where that came from because a couple plays later, Cornelius gets it again, this time to the right side of the line for another touchdown as Holt gets the huge dub over Okemos, 50 to nothing. Well, it's hard to believe that we've made it to week four of the season, and Lansing Catholic came into this day still searching for its first win. Yeah, it looked like they were on their way to getting it last week, up 13 to nothing over Charlotte at halftime. But then the Orioles rattled off 16 unanswered points to win it 16 to 13. So tonight it was on to Lansing Sexton for the Cougs, and that's where we bring in our peeps, Ian Cress and Haley Schoengart. Hey guys, for the first time all season, Lansing Catholic packed its bags and hit the road because all three games to start the season have been at home, so its first road test was not an easy one. That's now sure. last week, sorry, no, last good. week, Sexton, I was so excited for this game, moved to 2-1 and one with its win over Ionia, so they were looking to start league play 2-0 and oh in the CAAC White. Yeah, we're going to get right to the highlights. Brandon Lewis, the MSU commit with a touchdown, and now here is another game that is Charlotte. Audrey, I'll let you take things away right there. Yeah, we're just jumping ahead. 
guests. The CHS Fight Club, a.k.a. the student section, was out in full force, and her guys definitely gave them a lot to cheer about. First quarter, 3-11 for ER when Devin Eaton comes flying in for the sack, resulting in an 8-yard loss for the Greyhounds, and the Warriors, or the Orioles made the most of it. Ensuing drive now, Ben Buzzard buzzes this ball so quick to Braden Hill. Our cameras nearly missed the 21-yard touchdown. Then Buzzard hands it off to Cutler Brandt, and look at the hard cut to help him waltz into the end zone with ease. 34-6 Charlotte. The Orioles open the second quarter with a nice punt return for a touchdown by Hill. And then a couple plays later, they were just at it again. Hill serving up a few blocks so his buddy Caden Maynard could take it all the way to the promised land. A 68-yard punt return for the senior. Charlotte rolls to victory. 61-6 the final. And how funny is this? One of my friends from Potterville, Cody Hillard, was at the game and told me he predicted Charlotte would win 62-6. to How funny is that? So Almost they were it. just scoring at ease, Nick, and thanks to their win, Mike Sparks and his squad are 4-0, a record both Williamston and Mason were on the prowl for as well. Oh, yeah, and someone's O had to go. We're going to take you out to Hornet Country for a CAAC Red Rivalry Rumble when we <laughs> come back. Plus, we made a trip to J-Town to see if Herb Brogan and his Jackson Lumen Christie Titans could get their first win of the 2022 campaign. It's all coming our way next on the Dean Trailways 5th Quarter. Trailways fifth quarter is sponsored by the U.S. Army. Find your career in the U.S. Army at GoArmy.com. You've got a way with words. Use them to lead people to common ground. Wondering how you can contribute. Carry the weight of the world over air, land, and sea. You the kind that likes to lend a hand? Master procedures that put soldiers back on their feet. We give you every possible chance to show you care. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. At 6 feet 11 inches, what could be bigger than former pro basketball champ John Sally? This, the Big Spin Instant Game. And me, the star of the show, Co-Star. The Big Spin from the Michigan Lottery with instant prizes up to $1 million. And 20 players get a second chance to take the Big Spin and win up to $2 million on TV. Hosted by me, John Sally. <laughs> Co-hosted, John. The Big Spin Instant Game. It's big and it's back. Hurry, the next entry deadline is soon. Take it from me, Danica Patrick. Champions team will work hard to get you into the vehicle you want today. Call champion Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram of Lansing. 517-292-0999. Been at your job for a year? Make $350 a week? You're approved. Champions team is ready to help with any situation. 517-292-0999. At champion Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram of Lansing, you always finish first. Championrocks.com. As a child, I had multiple ear infections, which resulted in decreased hearing and speech delays. Thanks to my mom's persistence, I saw an audiologist who helped. Now I get to improve hearing and change lives. Hearing starts here at Advanced Audiology. Tom Barrett has no problem selling out Michigan families. 90% of Barrett's donors were from special interests, including corporate PACs. Barrett supports the agenda of his dark money supporters, the Koch brothers, which would outsource Michigan manufacturing jobs. And Barrett sponsored a bill to send taxpayer money to private schools. Another key goal of his donors, the DeVos family. Don't let Tom Barrett sell out Michigan. House Majority Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. Do you feel joy at the sight of Arby's? Or glee when deals start at $1 from 2 to 5 p.m.? Well then, Look at all this happiness! Arby's, we have the meats. Save 50% on beautiful Lexington furniture now at Cricket's Home Furnishings. Lexington home brands are known for original designs with styling from classic to casual to contemporary. Lexington's blend of exotic materials and finishes offer a unique statement of style. Save 50% now through October 4th, and financing is always available at Cricket's Home Furnishings. Welcome back to the Dean Trailways 5th Quarter. The CAAC Red gave us all sorts of drama last year with Williamson, Mason, and Hazlitt finishing in a three-way tie for first place a year ago. 
And now this year, the drama in the red started tonight with Mason paying a visit to Hornet Country to take on Williamson. Oh, yeah. And check out this. The Hornets got a brand new mascot for the Performing Arts Foundation. Has been working on this since last November, and it was treated to a goodie tonight. In the first half, Casey Carswell, well, he was dropping dimes left and right for the Bulldogs. He connects with Caleb Parrish in the back corner of the end zone, making it two touchdowns for Parrish in the first half as Mason led 24-13. At the break, and then Derek Badgley. Well, he's going to add to that lead in the quarter number. Trey right up the gut for six, and the Bulldogs take an 18-point lead. But do not count out those Hornets just yet. Alex Petersburg on the QB keeper breaks it to the outside, and he was buzzing down the sideline. No one going to bring him down. Williamson makes this a 10-point game with Petersburg's third TD of the game. However, Carswell and the deep ball were working tonight. A 30-yard TD to Colin Page, Jeez. and that just about closes the book on this one. Page had two TDs, and Mason brings out the Hornet killer to beat Williamson 37-29. Carswell had 285 passing <laughs> yards, four touchdowns, and what's scary is he hasn't even reached his potential yet. We don't want to rely on it too much. You know, we, we know as we go along, people are going to defend him more and more. Um, we have other receivers that are very talented, so there's some other weapons out here that a lot of people haven't seen yet. What is it about the deep ball that Cason throws that gives you just the confidence to go up and get it? You know, every time during practice, we're, like, he's on scout offense. It's just like insane to see him throw like 50 yard passes. Just like every time, it's just perfect. You know, he's real good. Has on the road tonight at Lansing Eastern and trying to stay perfect in the red. And the Vikes defense was cooking. Nakaya Mockery blocks the Quakers field goal attempt to help Hazlitt stay on top 21 to 6 in the second quarter. And per usual, he went to work on offense. Isaac Pavona rolls out, finds a Mockery, and he's so quick our cameras can't even keep up with him. But when we did, check out the jump before landing into the Ooh. end zone. And Pavona, well, he just kept pouring it on from there. Right before the end of the half, he screamed. Rambles and lets it fly deep downfield and it lands in the hands of Connor Bailey, a thing of B E A U D. It was one of Pavona's five TDs for 241 yards to put the Vikings up 35 to 6 at the half. Hazlitt gets the dub 57 to 13. All right, it's no surprise. This is the 30th year of the Dean Trailways fifth quarter. And because of it, we have decided to welcome some alums back on the show for some fun. Joining us tonight is Dave Ellis, who worked here from 1994 to 1998. He's an OG of the fifth quarter. And Dave, we had to send you out to your favorite conference. Yeah, OGs use paper, not you tablets, you know, the way that goes, right? Yeah, you know, it's great to be back, though. 24 years since I did this show. And back in our day, you could expect highlights from the Ingham County League. The Capital Circuit, the Mid Michigan B, and the Southern Michigan Athletic Association, known to us as the SMA. <laughs> the only one left is the granddaddy of the area conferences, and that is the CMAC. Palava Westphalia in Potterville tonight. Some early trouble with those pesky Vikings. First quarter, first and goal. Brant White right up the, since it's Potterville, up the gizzard yes. for a two yard touchdown. The Pirates are on the board. Hey, PW fans, what kind of music do you listen to? Oh, we like both kinds, country and western. That's a Blues Brothers reference. First play, second quarter, Troy Wortman in the flat for Gabe Miller. That's some nasty footwork over in there. He is in from 27 yards out. Pirates coast to a 49-7 win, and they have a big one with Fowler at the top of the league next week. Let's go to Bath homecoming night up there. Congratulations to the queen, Millie Hartzig, and the king, Grant Dunkel. Grant, you got to put your helmet on and get back into the game. <laughs> Lakeville, the opponent tonight, and they got stung early. B's first play of the third quarter. Bradley Ullman is gone. 57 yards and a vapor trail. Bath up 34-0 at that point. Next series, Lakeville's Lucas Bell. He's in trouble. Coughs it up as he's swarmed. It's Blake Van Norman with the recovery. It's Bass Ball, and that has the hive buzzing in anticipation. Cole Chamberlain, sneaky little handoff there. Colin Hagerman did come away with the ball. Eventually comes out of that pile. 37-yard score for him. Break up the bees. They're 3-1 and one with a 42-0 win at home tonight. Thanks, Dave. You didn't seem rusty at all. And down in J-Town, Jackson Lumen Christie has been in conversations about a conference move for several years. And now, as of Tuesday, they have decided to leave the Interstate 8. The Titans will join the Catholic High School League, which will feature 33 schools for the upcoming school year, spanning across the state and even reaching down into the Toledo area. But for now, it was rivalry night down in J-Town. Parma Western played host to Jackson Lumen Christie. And the real action in this game all took place in the second half. 621 left 
left in the third. Both teams were scoreless until Devon Franklin. He gets the handoff and he gets in to the end zone. Lumen Christie leads 7 2 zip. Now in the fourth, Parma Western will get a little bit of life. Alex Trudel takes it and he turns on the Jets, shakes off a few defenders Ooh. along the way. There is nothing but grass in front of him. The Panthers finally get on the board, but the Titans were not letting this game go that easy with less than three minutes left. Joe Lathers with the QB keeper. The Titans were hungry to secure the first win of this season, and doing it against a rival makes it that much more sweet. Lumen Christie tops Parma Western 19 to 14 the final. Now sticking down south in Jackson, it was homecoming for Jackson Northwest and their date with Battle Creek Pinfield. Now this game got going early. Northwest gets on the board first, but Pinfield has an answer. That one arm throw there oh, finds Braden Sternhand in the end zone. The Panthers will tie it up at seven. The Mounties said, I see you and I raise you. Panthers J.O. Murrow does a full 360 in the pocket, then sends one down to Easton Netsy. Northwest will walk away on top with the final score of 34 to 22. All right, I want to get back to this game led by Mr. Cool, John L. Davis, and Sexton. They were ready to take on Lansing Catholic <laughs> as the Cougars had enough of their losing ways this season. Alex Fernandez pump fakes and fires the deep ball to MSU commit Brandon Lewis. His second TD of the game in Catholic wasn't finished just yet. Nick Gruber jogs in for six. Shout out to his dad for making sure I caught that TD on film. And then on the next drive, Fernandez connects with Xavier Lua, a 71-yard touchdown. That's just his third catch of this season. Lansing Catholic takes down Sexton 35-0 for its first win of the year. Well, it's time for us to take one final break, and you know we can't close the show without talking about Michigan State. The Spartans left today for Washington, and there is one player everyone wants to know the status yeah, of. Yeah, that's right. Jay Reed, a.k.a. Jaden Reed. Will he suit up tomorrow? We'll update you after the break. Dean Trailways fifth quarter is sponsored by Dean Trailways of Michigan. You've had your eye on it. The obsession-worthy sofa. Rare designer looks furniture. And we are obsessed with sofas that look like this at a price as comfy as this. Available at Value City Furniture. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. Hey you. Hi, I'm Melissa Slotkin, and I'm your representative in the U.S. Congress. But Slotkin didn't represent us. Instead, she voted Biden's party line 100%. Slotkin stuck with her party, wasting hundreds of millions on pet projects for the elite. And Slotkin raised taxes, costing working families billions. But Slotkin voted with the liberals to cut taxes for wealthy donors in California and New York. Michigan families can't afford Alyssa Slotkin. The NRCC is responsible for the content of this advertising. The great experiences you have in here, and even out here, all started here. Because the best customer experience always leaves a great impression. GMC, awarded number one in sales satisfaction by J.D. Power. Step up to GMC with 0% financing on these GMC models. We are professional grade GMC. Our lives are a collection of experiences, moments of happiness or times of great loss. First homes, new babies, property loss, even heartache. Knowing that your insurance provider is always close by offers comfort. At Farm Bureau Insurance, the experience you get with our local trusted advisors is different. From financial security to a helping hand, Farm Bureau understands the experience matters. Find an agent who can protect what matters to you. You've had your eye on it. The obsession-worthy sofa. Rare designer looks furniture. And we are obsessed with sofas that look like this at a price as comfy as this. Available at Value City Furniture. Welcome back to the Dean Trailways fifth quarter, where it's time to shift our attention now to Michigan State. The yeah. Spartans departed for Washington this afternoon, and the big question mark is MSU going to have Jane Reed? 
Well, the Spartans top wide receiver injured, got injured in the game against Akron. And in case you missed how he got hurt, we're going to show you it right now. Yeah, second quarter right before the half, Peyton Thorne connects with Reed on a 22 yard catch. And on the way down, he slid right into the Akron mm. bench. He was taken to the locker room immediately after for a cut on his back. And he ended up watching the rest of the game from the sideline in his warm up. So we really appreciate you guys spending this uh, evening with us. Dave, you got to show the, the throwback the jacket. OG, yeah. Oh, OG. There aren't many of those left in. Anymore. You're in a select OG club, as you mentioned. And, and all of the OGs, thank you guys for keeping the tradition going. It's a great show. We're really proud of what you're doing today. Well, thanks for coming back on. We appreciate yeah, it. And for everybody it. in mid-Michigan, have a fantastic rest of your Friday. <laughs> <laughs> <I> appreciate <laughs> it.